Hey everyone, today I'm gonna explain how the brake booster, otherwise known by some mechanics as the hydrovac, works. It is called the vacuum brake booster, also known as hydrovac. So how it works? So let's get started. The purpose of the hydrovac brake booster is to make an efficient and effective and provide more braking power or force. The hydrovac brake booster looks like this. There are hydrovacs being used for light vehicles like cars, medium-sized vehicles like pickup trucks, drop side bed trucks and other straight trucks and heavy trucks. Some trucks utilize hydraulic brake, but other heavy trucks, especially articulated vehicles, use air or pneumatic brake system. So for now, let's just focus on vehicle which utilizes hydrovac for hydraulic brake system or uses brake fluid supplying hydraulic pressure to wheel cylinders for drum type or brake caliper for this rotor type of brake. So let me discuss with you every parts and components of the hydrovac assembly. Of course, let me start with the brake pedal. Then it got hydrovac pressure chamber, which is on the side of the driver. And the half portion of the hydrovac is the vacuum chamber, which is on the side of the engine. Then it got air which enters through the filter to supply the pressure chamber. Then it got the puppet valve which allows air in the pressure chamber. Then it also got a piston which is being pushed by atmospheric pressure. It is equipped with diaphragm, which ensures airtight seal. A vacuum hose, which gets vacuum from intake manifold. A check valves. Push rod. A return spring. The brake master cylinders the primary and secondary pistons, the primary and the secondary brake lines, the fluid reservoir filled with brake fluid and a cap that covers the fluid in the reservoir. Then it also got a puppet valve seal. So what is the purpose of the hydro hydrovac brake booster? It adds more force or power to push and operate the primary and secondary master cylinder piston by the push rod, which is linked from the brake pedal in order to be able to supply hydraulic pressure to either the wheel cylinders or brake calipers via the primary and secondary brake lines. This process would be much easier for the driver to do so as it would be easy for this driver as it doesn't require excessive power or force exertion by the driver. It only needs at least around 70 pounds of force from the drivers. Why is this so? This is because of the hydrovac. The hydrovac is divided into two chambers. One is the chamber filled with atmospheric pressure and the other half is the vacuum chamber. So when the brake pedal is being pushed by the driver or the intention is to apply the brake, the puppet valve allows air into the pressure chamber and the puppet valve seat follows puppet and closed automatically until pedal is moved further. 
On the other side of the chamber is the vacuum chamber. And this side does not give opposition to the force being applied of the braking action. Thus the easier or lighter for the driver's exertion of force because the atmospheric pressure will assist in pushing the push rod and the master cylinder piston. The diag diaphragm serves as an airtight seal so there will be no leakage between pressure chamber and vacuum chamber. The vacuum created in the chamber is coming from the intake manifold created by the pistons during the intake stroke. The check valve will ensure vacuum stays in the chamber during the time when engines stall or stop operating while the vehicle is still moving along the road. This will maintain the purpose of the hydrovac, which is easy brake pedal pushing and yet still providing braking force, thus effective braking. And the function of the return spring is to resist the vacuum. And lastly, I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe, like, and share. And hit the notification bell so you will be notified of my new video uploads. And thank you for watching.